Welcome back to Half Moon's Picks. Week two of the NFL is here. Last week, I did one and three. Basically, I took a three and a half point spread. I took the points and one went to overtime with the Lions game and they, they scored six. And one was the Baltimore game uh, and I lost by a toe. It happens, that's what you do. You move on. And as our contest goes, uh, Bridgewater's Finest got 92 points, won the week one. Congratulations, check out his channel. The link is in the de description below. Uh, second place, Free Little Dakota, 187. Hi, I'm Han Baron, let's take the moon moon. That's right, uh, he got uh, 91 points. And Gavin, uh, one of our uh, people in our uh, Facebook chat, he got 88 points. Me, I'm at uh, fifth place, uh, 84 points, just below everybody else. I was leading that first and then I was like, ugh, just couldn't get it. The, the last game's got me, the Rams. Don't bet against your own team, yeah. Learn that the hard way. Uh, most people got their first strike on the suicide pool, picking the Cincinnati Bengals. I joined a uh, $300,000 winning pool suicide. I had two entries and I picked both of them with the Bengals. I don't know what I was thinking. I know last year the Bengals just you know laid a dud at the beginning of the season with the Browns. Losing to the Browns week one and then uh, barely scraping by with the Ravens, the second one. So they lost two divisional games right off the bat. So I'm like, you know, they're not, they're not gonna do that this year yet. Sure enough, New England, Jacoby Brissett really Really like a third string quarterback a year or two ago. It's like, really? I mean, they have nobody, no coach, nobody, and, and they come in into Cincinnati and beat them. It's like, uh, Jacoby Purcell got like 121 yards, no touchdowns, no no uh, interceptions. He just played the safe game that whole game, and they still beat the Bengals. Unbelievable. A friend of mine at work, he's a big Bengals fan. I just had to let him have it. He goes, yeah, I've been avoiding you all day. <laughs> that being said, let's get on with the show. And my number one pick of the week, we got the Buffalo Bills traveling to the Miami Dolphins. The Buffalo Bills are a one and a half point dog. Josh Allen, 11-2 against Miami. Buffalo, 4-1 uh, in their last five against Miami in Miami. Um, and it, last year they won 21-14, uh, uh, Buffalo won in Miami. And uh, good odds to know, and I'll also be playing in my teaser, Buffalo bo broke a new NFL record with 42 consecutive wins by losing or uh, by less than six points or less, or you know, or more. So six point teaser throwing Buffalo just to let you know ahead of time so I'm throwing him at the end of the week so I'm taking Buffalo plus a point and a half. My number two pick of the week we got the Cincinnati Bengals traveling Kansas City Chiefs. The Kansas City Chiefs all right six point favorite yeah I know six points a lot of takes especially in week two uh, but uh, yeah Cincinnati like I said last year they they bombed the uh, first two weeks. Kansas City is a 14-7-1 since last year ATS, number two underneath the Detroit Lions as the best ATS team to pick on. Um, both uh, games they played last year, uh, Kansas City did win uh, uh, by eight and three points. So to me, this is a no-brainer. I think Cincinnati next uh, week will do a lot better, but this week, taking Kansas City Chiefs, give me Kansas City Chiefs, Minus six. My number three pick of the week, we got the Indianapolis Colts traveling to the Green Bay Packers. The Indianapolis Colts are a three and a half point favorite. Uh, yeah, uh, Jordan Love is out, three, six weeks. Uh, Malik Willis is the backup quarterback. I'm not putting my trust in him. Uh, Indianapolis Colts uh, won their last match in Green Bay, 31-26. All it needs to be said to be done here. Jordan Love got all those millions of dollars now injured. Feels so bad for Green Bay, but I'm not. So take me, give me the Indianapolis Colts minus three and a half. And my fourth pick of the week, we got the Los Angeles Rams traveling to the Arizona Cardinals. 
Los Angeles Rams. All right, one point dog. Uh, the Rams, 9-0 in their last uh, meetings in Arizona. So yeah, 9-0, Matt Stafford has not lost uh, in in Arizona to Arizona. Arizona allowed Buffalo last week 31 points in the last uh, 32 minutes of the game. Um, Stafford is, is set to play. He was having ankle injury, injuries uh, at the end of the Lions game, but he should be fine. I've seen him, I've seen collarbone injuries and thumb, you know, broken thumbs with Stafford. So he should be set to play. He's the, definitely the better quarterback in the game. So give me the Los Angeles Rams plus one. All right, that's all said and done. My three-team teaser, which I did hit last week. Uh, we're going Buffalo plus seven and a half. Like I said, I'm expecting to continue with that that 42-point uh, game spread. And number two, I, I like the New York Giants plus eight and a half with the divisional game against Washington. And give me Kansas City on the money line to beat Cincinnati at home. That being said, thanks for coming. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I will see you next week. Peace.